Curbing crime is the goal of the aerial surveillance program. But Dayton City Manager says residents just seem too confused over the issue. So he's decided not to bring the persistent surveillance systems contract before City Commission for consideration. Dayton police say the surveillance would only be used for things like major crimes and disturbances, natural disasters, and SWAT callouts. I think if folks really took the time to understand this technology better and clearly its intended application, uh, I think perhaps they would view this differently. Several public meetings were held about the surveillance, some of them heated. Joel Proust says he appreciates the city's willingness to hear from the community. Essential of our, among our concerns um, was the necessity to place um, clear limits as well as uh, civilian oversight over the program. Um, we believe that uh, proper monitoring and enforcement of the policy needs to be external to the police. Uh, and we think we can arrive at a policy like that through a proper collaboration of the community, of civil leadership, and law enforcement. And Chief Beal says this won't be the end of the discussion. I don't think the conversation is going away as it relates to technology. Whether it be this specific form of technology is uncertain at this point. I mean, clearly, uh, camera technology is coming. Now, that contract for the aerial, aerial surveillance would have cost the city $120,000. The chief tells me he's not sure where that money will go now. Reporting live in Dayton, Jackie Sprague, 2 News, working for you.